up everybody welcome back to JR sneaker show I'm JR and today I uh, got something very cool for you something a little different I've never done this on the channel before but I uh, just wanted to try something new so a lot of you probably been wondering where have I been I haven't posted up a video in over a month and so about a month ago um, I got really sick and um, I didn't know you know what it was obviously you know when it got tested for COVID it turned out to be COVID and so the very next day after getting my results is when it got really bad um, ended up not being able to breathe and so my wife came into my uh, the room I was quarantining in, in and she ended up I was laying down um, and um, I was pretty unresponsive I was incoherent as well and so it wasn't making a lot of sense with what she was asking me for the questions and so she called the ambulance and I went to the hospital and ended up finding out um, that my uh, my lungs my airways were um, being blocked and so when I got to the hospital I was at about I was less than 50% on oxygen way lower than that and so they ended up getting me up to the 50 after being there for for a little while but by the time I got there I was at 50 uh, the medics so they got me up to 50 and so just spent uh, 14 days in the ICU um, with my you know trying to get my lungs up and running uh, thankfully I didn't go on the um, on the uh, ventilator I was just on the BiPAP and then the high flow oxygen and so um, there's some uh, so right now, as of now, I'm home, thank God, and um, thank God, and you know, and I'm sorry for all the people that didn't make it home, very sad, and so, you know, after being home now for almost 20 days, I was in the hospital for 20 days, 14 days in the ICU, 6 days in the ER, um, so now um, I'm home, I, I got sent home on some oxygen and some breathing treatments, and so I'm able to be home, thank God, with my family. And um, <clears throat> I just thank God day by day I'm getting better slowly and surely um, but I have all, all faith that I'm gonna get back to uh, back to like it was before the oxygen and um, you know so I just appre appreciate if you would uh, say a prayer for me and my family um, before uh, you know if you get a chance today and so I really appreciate that and all the people who have been praying and um, been keeping up on my Instagram I appreciate all the prayers and all the shout outs and everything and uh to all the people and friends and family that sent uh food and stuff like that and gifts um just thank you from the bottom of my heart i really appreciate it and for all the friends and family that just <clears throat> made this tough time um you know a lot a lot easier for my for my family during this time my wife and my kids and so i really appreciate all of you all your prayers and support so just thank you and just wanted to update you all on what's going on so without further ado let's get right into this so today we're gonna be doing something very cool so what we're going to do is we are going to take a pair of these you know what these are right the flu game 12s uh, this is the 2008 2016 version and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this pair right here I have a couple pairs of these so this is this is my newest pair right here so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, not do it to these but I have an older pair right here and I've already taken the laces out and what we're gonna do is I've already done one I'm gonna turn it into these so what are these these are the cherries and the reason we're doing that today is because we haven't seen this cherry with a retro release since 2009 and I'm not sure when we're gonna get one and I've been always wanting a pair of a cherry 2009 and I was actually in the hospital when I thought of this idea and um, I don't know why but I thought of I was watching I don't know I think I was watching the the last shot documentary and they talked about the uh, the last shot and um, 
So I was just sitting there watching that and I thought about the flu game 12 and then I was like, man, flu games. And then I was like, man, I want the cherries. And so, but I know that, you know, I don't know when Jordan brand is gonna release the cherries. So you can see what I've done a little differently on these cherries right here that I made is um, I took this sneaker right here And what I did was I, I touched it up to be a cherry. And you know, on this cherry, you, the 2009 version and the old retro version has the chrome eyelets. I'm gonna leave this black just because it's gonna be a custom by me. And I could do this chrome, I have chrome paint, but after thinking about it a while, I was like, you know what? The black hits is just, it's just special because it's a black, white, and red shoe. I don't know where the chrome came from anyway. Um, and so, if I wanted to do chrome, if I wanted to do any color, I would want to make this red, me personally. And then the back tab, I'm going to leave the same. The differences on the uh, the cherries, they have the, the white 23, and then this is white back here. But I'm not going to mess with that. Um, I could, I could get into it. I got some paints and stuff, but I'd have to order some rubber paint to do this part right here. And then I don't know what I would do right here, so... I just kind of want to leave it the same and I'll throw um, a picture up in this corner that way you can see what the the 2009 cherries look like versus what these look like and so that way you can see the little differences so we'll do the back right there and then the side but you see for the tongue um, tongue pretty much nailed it I mean I got it with the black and the white uh, the 2-3 the jump man and then the insides black as well and then the sides right there. I did hit the sides up because these sides had some scuffs and stuff um, to where the red was coming off and there, you could see a little bit of the white. And that's why you see a little difference in the red. Um, and, and I'll get to that here in a minute and that way you can see. But I wanna do a detailed video on how, how to do it. A lot of people may not even know how to do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these over to the side and then um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a video on, on how to, uh, how to make this happen and so um, the first thing you want to do <clears throat> when doing this is you obviously you got to have your paints right you got to order your paints and so the first thing that I did was I got online and I looked up some paint places and um, this is not my first custom this is just the first custom I'm gonna do a step-by-step -step on I've done two other customs before I did the Gatorades into the shattered backboard and then I did um, the Mars Morales the spider-man's I took a white Jordan 1 and I turned it to the Chicago um, Jordan 1. And so those were like my practice runs. And um, I got a little better over time. And so now, um, well, let me drink some of my, my green tea that my wife made me. So awesome. That's good. And so, uh, where was I at? So I went to Angelus.com and I ordered some paints. First of all, for this one, we're going to use a flat black. This is an Angelus flat black. And you can go to their website. It's angeluspaint.com or something like that. Angelus Paint. And it's spelled A-N-G-E-L-U-S, Angelus. Right there. So we're going to use a flat black paint. Um, and on this one, we're going to use some matte acrylic finisher when we're all done. Uh, the paint I'm going to use for the white is the flat white right here so you can get that a little shiny huh. cool and then um, varsity red right there we're gonna be using the varsity red I don't know if you can pick that up there we go and then um, to start it off we're gonna use this professional leather prepper and deglazer right there I also ordered a couple of brushes online. Um, I haven't opened this one up yet. Haven't had the need to. A um, couple brushes right here. I got the uh, the number six, the Filbert. And so this one is the one I use for the glazing. And then I got a couple other brushes right here. I got uh, I got a flat brush right here. With this flat brush, brush right here, it's a number six flat brush off of Angelus. And this one right here is uh, used to get into flat spaces and stuff like that really good it's got that 
angle right there. So it's a really good brush. Um, this is the one I used for my details to get into the little spots right there. And this one is called the number two round. And so that, that one's really good to get into some tight spaces. And then I have the uh, an angler right here. And I really like this brush. This is an Angler Angelus half inch brush. You can get brushes on their website too. You can buy like a starter pack for like 10 bucks. And that's what I did. It was like $8.99. And you can see it's got that angular right there. And that's really good. This is the one, this is my go-to brush for painting it. And then this is just an old brush right here. This is a shader, uh, which I really don't use. Just an old brush as I just had in the mix. So why not even use that? Um, and then, oh, and then this stuff right here, this tape. I know this looks just like regular painter tape, but this is like an electrical tape, and it and it holds the sneaker really well, almost too well. Like when you peel it off, like I was scared it was gonna like leave some residue on there, but it didn't. But this, you can get this off their website. It's almost like electrical tape. I mean, that's what it feels like to me. It's just really wide. So if you wanted to use some electrical tape, you probably could. Um, but I don't know. So, but this stuff is on their website. It's like six bucks, eight bucks or something like that to use. Um, and what else? Oh, a toothpick. <laughs> Doesn't sound crazy, right? But I use a toothpick to really push the tape into like the tight crevices and so of the shoe. And so it's really helpful when it comes to doing stuff like that. And so very cool. Um, just a little trick. As far as your brushes, this is, uh, this uh, paint right here is um, what do you want to what do I want to say? Um, it's acrylic paint. So the best way to clean acrylic paint from the research I've done is just just soap and water. So I just keep a, a cup of soap and water right here off to the side, and that's where I just when I'm done with my brushes I just put them in there, and then I have me a uh, microfiber towel that I use to. Uh, you know wipe stuff down and stuff like that when I need to so very cool um let's see what else oh and then I use this to also apply the uh, the leather prepper well let's get right into it so the first thing you're gonna want to do is you're going to want to uh, apply the um, your your tape to the area you're gonna be working in and so you can see I've already started on this side applying this tape right here and you can see I I covered up this mud guard right here. So since the first thing I'm going to be painting is the the black I'm going to go ahead and apply this tape right here to the whole side so that I don't get paint on here. So let's go ahead and jump right into that. Oh and some scissors. Gonna need some scissors. So the trick to doing this is you want to get into those crevices right here. So right on this uh, this side panel right there, you want to get the tape into there. So what I use is I just use a toothpick and I slide my toothpick up in there to kind of get this opened up. And because it's wood, it's not really going to hurt the leather. And that's why I chose to go with a toothpick. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to kind of overlap that mud guard right there. That way when you fold this over, you have about a, maybe like an eighth of an inch. That way you can get a toothpick in here and you kind of flip it under. That way when you paint this shoe, you don't get any paint inside that mud guard or on the mud guard. Because I tell you, that's pretty annoying if you have to go back and repaint that.
So you can see I just cut a, cut a little bit away right there on where I went over the mud guard. That way I can just kind of get that in there. But I just cut a little bit right here. So prepping is like the number one thing you can do when I've noticed when it comes to customizing. Um, because it'll just look a lot crisper and cleaner when you do your customization versus if you don't do any prepping at all. And you can tell, I mean, you'll get paint on places that you're, you didn't think you would get paint on places, but it'll just happen when you're doing your... So look, if you can see that, I'm actually getting that tape underneath that mud guard. And you can see I'm just using a toothpick to just get up under there like that. Next step is going to be the, um, uh, let's see, not that one, this one right here. So the Angelus Leather Prepper Indie Glazer. So the best way to apply this stuff right here um, is to use a, uh, a cloth. So you want to get a cloth and just kind of rub it in there. I'm using a microfiber cloth. Stuff kind of stinks too, so you want to be careful on this. You want to have a ventilated area. But you really want to get it in there good, because if you don't, then what'll happen is your paint won't stick. So 
So you go back and look at like OG colorways of the cherries, it was the varsity red and white. So the only difference was the top. So it was still the same red on the top and bottom. So that's why I chose to use this sneaker as my base. And I can't wait to wear these. People are like, what? Where'd you get those? <clears throat> Stuff is pretty strong. Smelly. Now that we've applied all that, we're ready to get to painting. So, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cap this bad boy off because man, this stinks. Uh, next thing we're gonna use is we're gonna use the, this one right here. The flat white is what we're gonna go with. And so the first thing you want to do is make sure you shake your paint up. Let's go. So for this paintbrush, I am going to use, let's see, which one are we going to go with? I'm going to go with this guy right here, this angular paintbrush right here, because this will really get in some good spots. <clears throat> and I didn't cover up the eyelets on this one. Um, I, I can get in this, those spaces pretty good. And with the eyelets, they're plastic, so any paint you get on them, you can literally just scrape away with your fingernails. with a little white there we go and I didn't get any specialized white paint for this side panel right here um, I'm just using the leather paint so let me know how that holds up I I looked on the website and all I saw was the paint for the leather so I didn't see anything for like midsoles or anything like that. But let me know if I'm wrong. I could go back there and look again. But I'm going to see how this holds up right here. This leather. Like I said, the blow dryer is going to help with this. This is going to be the first application. And then what you want to do is just hit it with the blow dryer. And um, just go over it again. I forgot how many coats I had to do, but we'll count it on this one. So this is our first coat right here. The other one, I didn't start using the blow dryer until I... I was like, man, this is taking forever. Kind of got into it at that point. So whatever that point was. I mean, sometimes you just gotta make sure you just, stuff actually stays and so. But that's it. You just wanna hit it like that. And as long as you did your prep work, you shouldn't have to worry a lot about 
I'm going to go back and retouch stuff up. this inside one more time and I got that dried off a little more it's pretty cool how you can take a, a sneaker it kind of looks like another sneaker and totally transform it into a different sneaker. It's a cool thing about customizing that I've always been interested in. I took a pair of Gatorades and saw a couple pictures online and just took it upon myself to 
play with it and turn them into a uh, very shattered backboard. So I'll show you at the end of this video how they came out. I think they came out great, I personally. But I'm kind of biased. Remember, this shoe used to look like this. So now that we got it white, that's pretty white to me. Now what we want to do is just peel away some of this tape and see what it looks like below. See why I said the, the tape was so important? This is gonna keep you from doing a lot of touch-up work. So I got a little bit of touch-up work to do, but not much. See what was super important is keeping this little part right here on the sneaker red. Cause this tab right here, you can see right there, if you paint over it, it's red right here on the side. So we kept it red by protecting it with the little amount of touch up that we have to do. So there's a little bit of touch up I gotta do right there, but not much. Back tab came out pretty good. A little touch up to do, but like I said, a lot less than if we wouldn't have had put tape down. So the next step is going to be, um, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna do some touch up work on the, the spots that, that I need to hit. And then the next part, what we'll do is we'll do the, we'll go ahead and 
I got some more tape right there. So I got some cleanup work to do right there. A uh, little touch up work to do right here. Um, and then right here in the front as well. So once I do that, I'll use my, my small little brush. And then the next thing we'll do is um, we'll go ahead and coat. Um, we'll go ahead and paint this Jumpman part black and we'll paint this 2-3 black as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish touching up around the tongue right here on this top part just those little corners and then we're going to go ahead and do the black on the 2-3 and then once we get done with that we'll go ahead and start uh, doing a coat of the, of the uh, leather prepper. Let that dry. So now for the fun part. So I'm going to go ahead and dip this back in my water with my soap. Let that get cleaned off. <clears throat> We're going to use this brush now. This is the uh, the number two brush, and this is the skinny brush. And we're going to use this to hit the uh, the Jordan, the Jumpman, and we're going to use it to hit the uh, the two three in there as well. So that's where it gets really fun.
Okay, so now what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna hit this with uh, some of this deglazer. Um, right here, this leather prepper, leather preparer and deglazer. And just put it on the red spots. On this one, I'm just gonna use a brush right there and just kind of get it in this in this spot where I want it to take right there. And also put it right here on this part. I'm gonna paint this as well. Give that a fresh coat. Go ahead and do this side as well. Just hit that leather. Let it soak in. Get that one time. Like I said, once this dries off, it'll feel sticky. Almost like um, like it'll take the paint really quick. So this would be nice just to give it a fresh coat of that varsity red. Then close this up so I don't drop this guy. Whoop, that's the wrong top. Alright. I use my angled brush for this one. Drop a little varsity red right there on the table. We don't need much. And then just go ahead and hit it. You can see that the color is spot on, so Angela's uh, paint really got this right. Like I say, you just want to take your time getting those angles right there. I love this angle brush. I think this is my favorite brush to use. So like you can't see this but I can see how it's really faded and it's given it a whole new life. So these things are really going to pop. What's cool too is like this part right here sometimes you'll have some scrapes and stuff so this paint's really good for covering up any white spots that you have. put on a coat of a matte acrylic finisher right here this will protect your paint so that it won't peel off or crack or anything like that and for this one I'm going to use my uh, my number six is that a six or nine let me see 
Yeah, my number six flat brush. It's red like that. This will really get into some spaces. So this one you don't want to pour on your table or on your paper. This one you just want to kind of dip in there. Just go like that. Just apply it evenly. This is almost like a, um, I would say like a liquid plastic. And uh, so you don't want to apply too much of this stuff unless you want to get like a real high gloss or shine. Uh, but this is what's going to protect the uh, the plastic here. So let me make sure I'm applying this right. Yeah, it says a light, louder dry for 24 hours. Apply one to two coats. So you can use a paintbrush or a sponge to apply this. However you want to do it. I don't have a sponge, so I'm going to use a paintbrush. Alright, so we got our finished product all done. Uh, finally wrapped up with these bad boys right here. So, um, you can see they turned out really nice. I got the, the right one right here and the left one right here. So, before they started off, is these guys right here. And, so before and after. So you can see, totally transformed these things. Um, so this is what we had before, and, uh, this is what we got after. So I think they came out really good. Um, it was definitely a time-consuming project, um, but I think it was definitely worth it. Um, had an extra pair of these, and you, so let's go over the differences real quick. So you can see right there, <clears throat> the Cherry 12s, the originals, this is white back here. It's 23 and then the panel's white, but I decided to, I mean, to leave it white. And then as far as the eyelets, they're chrome, so I left those black. So that's really the only differences um, from the uh, Flu Games and then the Cherry 12s. So, I think these turned out really good. Really good. Let me flip these around so you can see. So like I said, the only differences between the Cherry 12s and the Flu Games were the backs. The backs were white right here on the 23, and then this tab was white. Uh, the eyelets are chrome, and um, and then on the tongue, you got the white tongue with the 2-3 uh, the in black with the black jump man. So, came out really good in my opinion. I can't wait to start wearing these and uh, have a, uh, a colorway of the uh, the Jordan 12 cherries so that's the right shoe and here's the left shoe so just so you know I ordered some brand new laces off of Amazon um, they're relatively cheap they were like five bucks for a set of two and so I just ordered some round white laces on Amazon 60 inches and uh, they came in pretty quick couple days so I'm excited I can't wait to start wearing these um, this is awesome these came out really good and I'm excited Well, everyone, thank you again for tuning in to JR Sneaker Show. Um, definitely going to start putting some more content up. 
as I um, as I progress and start to feel better. So everybody, um, again, thank you for all your prayers. Um, God bless you, and I'm out.